All right, what's up you guys, it's Jesse Lee, and I really want to show you guys what kind of cameras I use and lenses, and I finally got the chance of doing this today, so I really want to share with this with you guys, and I really hope it helps you. First camera that I bought is the a6400, good for starters, a little bit on the pricier side, We're looking at around 1200 with taxes, maybe 1300. The other camera that I have is the a7R3, with a 24 to 70 Sigma art lens. Great for video. The only bad thing about zoom lenses is that they're not as sharp as a prime lens would be. Uh, another one that I use is the Rokinon 85 millimeter, as well as a, it's also a prime. I don't really use that one too much. I, I try to keep in the range of like 30 to 55. I also have the iPads where I can control the settings of the cameras a lot better rather than having to go behind the tripod and do it. it saves me a lot of time and it's very convenient especially when you're cutting in between haircuts um also have the ronin sc which is a smaller version of the two ronins and it's perfect for uh, crop sensor cameras like the a6400 especially with that one because it doesn't have uh, in-body stabilization Another thing that I highly recommend is getting a monitor. You need to be able to see what you're recording at all times and make sure that it's in focus. Very important when you're making tutorial videos of haircuts, you know, also lighting counts in the big part. Um, if the more lighting you have, the lower the ISO could be, meaning better quality of your videos. Uh, I also have a teleprompter. I don't use it too much. It's more when I want to have a script and just read off the, the script that I prepared. The for audio I have the NTG microphone. That one's like the newest one that, that had just came out. Um, the good thing about this one is that you could connect it straight to your computer and, and start recording. I have a couple of GoPros. I don't really use too much. The microphone that I'm using right now is a wireless one. It connects straight to your recording device. What I really recommend is getting those dummy batteries, which is like these batteries right here. Uh, it's the same size as your original ones. It just has a cord at the end that connects to a, a power adapter and then you connect straight to the wall. You'll have power at all times, you know, for people like me who forget to charge the batteries. Another important thing to have is cleaning wipes. You always want to make sure your lenses are dust free to get the clearest image possible. You know, also have um, gold docks, um, the flash, but I don't really use it too much. But if you're into photography, there's something that you should, you know, consider buying. Other than that, I think I pretty much covered everything. Make sure you have your micro um, HDMI cords or what it is, whatever it is that your camera takes. And whatever you guys have any more questions about, just let me know in the comments below. And I'll be more than happy to make those videos for you guys.